Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel once again. Welcome to Add Maths Plus Maths. I will now be discussing paper 2, variant 1 of IGCSE Additional Mathematics, October, November 2010, question number 5. So the question says, find the set of values of M for which the line Y is equal to MX minus 2 cuts the curve Y is equal to X squared plus 8x plus 7 in two distinct points. So again, this is a problem about quadratics. Okay? And when we are dealing about problem about our when we are dealing with problems about quadratics, we cannot get away from b squared minus 4ac. And in here, there are two distinct points, okay? Intersections. So it means I'll have this idea that the line y is equal to mx minus 2 cuts the curve into two distinct points. Therefore, I'll be using b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. Okay? Thus, the first thing that I need to equate or I need to do here is to equate the two equations and eliminate y. Okay, I will eliminate y since they are both equivalent to y. So it will become mx minus 2 is equal now to x squared plus 8x plus 7. And remember, okay, I have ax plus ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So that I can find out what is A, what is B, what is C in this, okay, I need to equate this equation with 0. So I'll have now x squared. So 0 is equal to x squared plus 8x minus mx plus 7 plus 2. Okay, so I'll have now 0 equals x squared plus 8 minus m x plus 9. Thus, a is 1, b is 8 minus m, c is 9. So, a is 1, b is 8 minus m, c is equal to 9. Okay, let's apply this one. I have now b is 8 minus m squared minus 4 times a is 1, b is 9, is greater than 0. Again, why did I put greater than 0? Because there are two distinct intersection points between the two lines. Okay? Now, since I have that, I'll expand this first. I'll have 64 okay, minus 16m. Y 16m, 2 times 8 is 16 times negative m is negative 16m plus m squared minus 4 times 9 is 36. Negative 36 is greater than 0. Okay, next, I'll have, to simplify this, I'll have m squared, okay, minus 16m, 64 minus 36, 64 minus 36 is 28. So I have m minus 16 m, m squared minus 16 m plus 28 is greater than 0. Okay. Just to have this, I'll have now factorization. Okay, remember, I need to find out the critical values. Critical values will determine our solution for the set of values of M. I have M minus 14 and M minus 2. Okay, for the critical values, I'll just basically need to equate it to zero. So I have first critical value is 
first critical value is 14 and the second critical value is 2. Okay, let me erase this part so that I can uh, draw the figure. Okay, critical values are 2 and 14. Let's say 2 is here, 14 is over here. 2 and 14. Does it open upward? Does the curve open upward or downward? It opens upward because basically the m squared is positive. So it opens upward. Okay, and since it's greater than zero, I am going to consider the one on top. Okay, so this part and this part. And you will be asking yourself, what are the values of x for those? I put red. Okay, these are the values of x. It's on the left of 2 and on the right of 14. So, what are our answers? x is less than 2 or x is greater than 14. Okay? But it's not supposed to be x. It should be m because we are solving m. Sorry. Okay? So, m. So, m is less than 2 but or m is greater than 14. So, these are the set of values of M. Okay? So, how do you get the 6 marks for this one? You will get 2 marks for this part. Okay? You will get 2 marks for that. Okay? You will get 2 marks for using this one. Or no, 1 mark only. You will only get 1 mark. Okay, you will get one mark for having this equation or inequality, final inequality. Okay, and you will get one mark for finding the critical values. Okay, and finally, you will get one mark for getting the set of values. Okay. Anyway, you will be seeing the marking scheme after this. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have learned something. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. God bless.